Yo, what's up? In this video, I want to talk about the biggest and most important skill that you need as a developer, as a junior developer, that is not coding. So this skill helped me uh, tremendously throughout my life. And I have practiced it since I was like, I don't know, 20, 21. I figured out, okay, this is a good skill to learn. And I figured it out by myself, by mistake. And today I want to teach you what a skill is. And I'm going to teach you how to use it and how to train it in order to be be safe from this recession that's coming up, layoffs, so you don't have to deal with that. And I want you to actually be successful, you know, genuinely. So that skill is sales. This is the most important skill that you can learn as, as a person, okay? This, is, this skill is gonna help you tremendously no matter what you are trying to do. Like literally, no matter what you're trying to do, you need to learn sales from meeting up, the girl of your life and making her, you know, be your wife and whatnot, making your children do certain things, certain activities that are good for them that they don't want to do, from selling yourself on the idea that you should be doing something or going into an interview and, you know, saying that I am the best for this role because of this, 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 okay? So sales is the most important skill that you can learn today, tomorrow, next year, and it's not gonna change as long as people exist, as long as human nature exists, as long as emotions exist, this is the only skill that's gonna, you know, change your life dramatically. You can make more money as a developer if you are good at sales than by being a better developer. How crazy is that? Because if you are a nerd that's introverted and whatnot, and you can change that by the way, but if you are that nerd that's introverted and whatnot, you won't be able to make as much money as someone that's worse than you, AKA me, but knows how he sells himself, okay? Because even in, in the company, right? When you'll have some sort of project and you'll say, oh, but I don't think this is a good idea because of this, or we should do it like this and blah, blah, blah. Nobody's gonna listen to you because you don't know how to sell your idea. Okay? Be able to promote yourself and promote yourself within the company and promote yourself in the interview and whatnot, you need to get good at sales. So how do you get good at sales? The first and most important thing is that you need to sell yourself first, okay? So you need to believe in yourself more than ever. Again, it sounds cringy, but it all boils down to this, selling yourself to yourself. Like, do you really believe you are the guy who you say you are? Like, for example, I believe 100% that I'm the guy that's gonna make the best not the most perfect because nothing is perfect, but the best program for beginner developers out there. So because I believe that, I am allowing myself to promote myself everywhere, right? You can see other influencers that have 300,000 subscribers and whatnot. They have pretty much a program like mine, maybe not as good and whatnot, but they don't believe in themselves so much, so they don't promote it, right? They feel bad about it. So you, for example, when you will be like, trying to negotiate with yourself, okay, you know what, you have one leg in your job and one leg into your in programming and whatnot. If you are not fully into programming, you are not fully like, okay, I'm gonna learn this skill and I'm gonna be like really good at it and someone will have to actually pay me for this, okay? And if you do not see yourself like that, then this whole thing is gonna fail. Why? Because even if you learn the skills and you are like decent enough, when you go in front of someone and that person is gonna say, yeah, we don't know about you. you would be like, okay, you are right. I'm not that good. And then the whole thing fails, you know? But if you're like, okay, hold on, wait, wait, wait a minute, bro. Wait a minute. I know I don't have a uh, commercial experience and that's fair. I'm not gonna deny that. But what you want is experience, correct? Mr. Anderson from the Matrix. That's what you want, correct? Yes, I want someone with experience. Well, look. I have one year and a half of experience, not commercial though, it is what it is, nobody paid me so far, uh, but I have experience. I have built this project, which is using these technologies, which by coincidence are the same technologies that you are using in your company. So although nobody paid me, I've already learned these technologies by myself, without any guidance, without any help, and now I'm here showing you, okay, I can do this. And if I've made this, that's so good by myself. Imagine how much better will I be working for you with the entire team around me, helping me out. Give me this chance and I'm gonna show you, I promise you, 
This is going to be the best investment you've ever made, Mr. Anderson. And if you do not believe me, and if I fail, you know what? You don't need to pay me for my first month here. Just fire me. It is what it is. I'm even going to give you $1,000 in coupons on Amazon just to say sorry for wasting your time. So what do you think, Mr. Anderson? Shall we do this? You see, like, that confidence in yourself. You need to be, like, ruthless. You need to really believe in yourself that you are the shit. And let me, let me tell you this. You will never know everything. So if your confidence comes from the fact that you don't know everything, you are going to shoot yourself in the foot because you cannot know everything. I don't know everything. Nobody knows everything. Okay. We know more than you and we don't, we know more what we don't know than you. That's the difference between someone that's like really good and someone that's a noob, right? Because you might be thinking, oh, I know HTML and CSS, uh, Tailwind, blah, 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 JavaScript, React, Node.js. I've made a few apps and I'm good. No, you're not that good, you know? You need to trust yourself that you can find a solution for any single problem that you'll be having. Because that's true. If you are at least like your brain is like working like to a half decent pace, like a normal human being, you can find the solution for any single problem that you might be having. If I tell you, okay, Jimmy, I hope your name is Jimmy, make me a drop down with HTML and CSS and JavaScript. Like that's a requirement for an application. Are you able to find how to do that? It might take you five days, one week, two weeks. But by the end of those two weeks, you'll probably be researching like drop downs from like 500 YouTubers, 500 articles on Stack Overflow and whatnot, Medium articles, blog posts, Twitter, whatever. And you'll still have like 500 different drop downs. You learn all the techniques to make a drop down. You learn a bunch of techniques, a bunch of tricks. And now not only you've made a drop down, but you have all these other technologies in your pocket for next time when you have to use them. So then you'll be able to take these technologies and create something else. How crazy that is. That's how you have to think. You are good and you can get better, but you need to sell yourself first, okay? That's my video for today. I hope you liked it. And let me know if you wanna see more videos like this, you know? Let me know in the comments what you think about this video. I don't know if I touched on everything in this video, but I'm, I'm open to, you know, make more videos like this. If you're interested, if this is going to get clicks and whatnot, I'm going to make more videos like this because I think programming is like the easiest skill to learn. And that's the skill that's going to give you like a good base. But if you learn the other skills like sales and marketing, you'll become a full stack person and then you'll really become unstoppable. I honestly, believe that, for example, these people that are working at FANG and whatnot, they're a bunch of losers, in my opinion, because they have been castrated, okay? They've been developing these um, tech skills so much that they don't know how to hunt anymore, okay? They don't know how to deal with problems. Like, for example, they get laid off and they post on LinkedIn, hey, please, recruiters, reach out to me. They don't even know how to go through the normal recruiting process. Do not be like that. Do not become a corporate slave. Do not become a corporate simp. This comes from someone that's been a corporate slave, okay? You get paid a lot, okay? More than if you work in a startup, that's fair. But when you get fired, you get fired, you are just a number randomly picked and bye-bye. You know, they don't care about you. But if you work for a startup and whatnot, at least if you get fired, the boss is gonna be feeling bad for you, okay? So, you know, that bastard is going to be upset, probably as upset as you, you know, he's not going to be able to sleep at night and whatnot. But if you go and work for corporate, they're just saying like, oh, I saved $100,000 from this guy, you know, this CEO's number. Anyway, tangent. Uh, I hope you like this video. If you want to work with me directly, coached by me, I'm going to show you all these tricks and more, you know, Aikido. Um, the link for that is in the description of this video. Uh, my program comes with a guarantee, so six months money back guarantee if you do what I'm telling you to do and it doesn't work. Uh, and yeah, the goal of this program is to get you to a position where you have the skills to get a job that's going to pay you 80k a year at least. And for also, also for you to be working remotely, okay? These are the two things that uh, I think are quite important for a beginner. Because after you make this type of money and once you have this type of freedom, you'll be able to explore other things, okay? Like you can start a side business or you can have like a, a, some sort of income, like a protection 
So you can try different things. And if they fail, they fail, whatever, you still have money in the bank. But if you're on 60K or 40K and whatnot, if you have like bad money, you won't be able to make risks, okay? I, I believe in life, risks are the best thing that you can take, you know? Because if you live a safe life, as much as it looks safe, you won't be getting the most out of it, okay? When I tell you this, you might be saying, oh, this guy is trying to sell me something. No, I'm actually selling myself, okay? Because I truly believe that I wouldn't be here, I wouldn't have all this freedom, money, opportunities, friends, girlfriend, if I would have not learned programming. It's, it sounds cringy, I know, but it was that catalyst. Because otherwise, if I would have not learned this, if I would have not taken the chance to learn this skill years ago, who knows where I would be? Maybe I would still be in the coffee shop making coffees like a slave. Peace.